um, one example of a young man, he's a senior this year, and I had him uh, in 10th grade for biology. We talked about a lot of the kind of cutting edge things that were going on in science. Uh, I used a lot of PBS, like Nova videos, little clips, and uh, they all liked that. They thought it was really cool to see what was going on literally on the cutting edge. Um, this young man that I have this year as a, as a senior, um, although he has fulfilled all of his science credits, um, he signed up for a class that was brand new this year that, that I was going to be teaching called Science Applications. And the basic idea is we're supposed to use all those inquiry skills we've learned in the first two years of science and uh, do some sort of a, a project, kind of like a senior um, lab, something they're going to find their own uh, topic, they're going to research it, they're going to do their own uh, experiment, and then th at the end of the semester they'll present their results. Um, he, when he found out that I was doing this uh, last summer, that was sort of extra icing for him because he knew that I was going to be coming in with kits. Um, when I first met him, he was uh, thinking that he was going to marry his high school sweetheart, um, that he was going to work in her parents' factory. They have like a, uh, a machine shop in the Kent Valley and certainly a wonderful job. But since we kind of brought in some of these cutting ideas, uh, he's decided maybe bioengineering or, or uh, biomedical studies is for him. As a matter of fact, um, the year, at the end of the year when I had him in 10th grade, he was looking at uh, which community college to go to because he wanted to know which ones had the most life science classes, the ones that would help get him most prepared for uh, a, a career in, say, bioengineering. And so he was going to travel even farther than most kids would so that he could get the classes he wanted. Um, that's, I guess that's kind of what I'm hoping to do with the kids in my school, and that's what SEP is going to help me do even more than I could before. Uh, they get excited, and now uh, finally you know, there's the real hands-on stuff. This is what the real scientists do, and um, there isn't a kid, no matter how much they hate school or no, how no matter how much they may have failed in the past, there isn't a kid in my classes that doesn't want to do these kids.